Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the Material Emancipation Grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of... Hey, hey! You made it! That's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. You have trapped yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here!
Commodore to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. Oh my god. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Per- ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. Fu- ah, I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's, a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A A A A A. Um. S. Okay. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do beat the jerk head? Start writing these Power down. up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Once good, you have a dual portal device. There. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. 
We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last... This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was
Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that, too. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on your file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Thank you. In a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait, I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time.
It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad, but impressive. Maybe they worked at the Impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. 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 Hey, how's it going? I told. Well, you know the old formula: comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I thought about our dilemma. And I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing! Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice! Run! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Run! For goodness sake! You are almost at the last test. Come on, come on. Ah! Who 
behind you. What's going on in there? You're okay? I heard you. This way, this way. Down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, no, it's smelly. Just, oh, I'll tell you, humans, oh, love them. Just the way they look, it's great in their folklore. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Follow me, it's almost there. Ta da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. See that scanner out there, right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss, and it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the. Ah! I lost the door, Bino. I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind, or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's just, in, it's just mentioned. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low hanging fruit and all that. Fairly science, really, isn't it? I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Just to re. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. Uh, okay, let's try this way. All right, man. She can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So uh, let's go and invest. Ah, there's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, they do feel pain. What a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But it's uh, really enough for them, I suppose. I'm afraid the door. What are you doing? You don't know what that button oh, Door's open. Well done. Let's see what Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. 
So whatever you do, hold on, that did it. Neurotoxin at zero percent. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. To her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't have to fool to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way ahead of time. This place is huge, and we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part would be good. Ah! Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh -huh. Seriously, though, goodbye. It's my big chance. This is trouble. <laughs> oh, you were busy back there. Well. I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Torch. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Hold me out! Leave me in! Leave me in! Leave me in. Don't press it! No, not so fast. Think about this. Stalemate resolved. Here we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no you're not. You are it is gonna hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we talking? Ah! Seriously, I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. 
Let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stops. Because that's not part of the death. That's asbestos. Ha. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Rats are expensive. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink science isn't about why. It's about why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, box your stuff. Out the front door, parking lot, car, goodbye. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed. Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Hold on. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the Great hell job, the astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna... Take a <laughs> This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him.
If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you, I can't believe I'm thanking these people, for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, Karen, please pick them up now. Karen, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Is an or... Oh so my god. Doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. sake your boxes with legs it's it's literally your only purpose walking onto but how can you not do the one warmer warmer boiling hot boy okay colder colder ice cold you're arctic now this you're you're very cold very 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 cold look just get on the button oh that's funny is it oh it's funny because we've been in this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either so i don't know why you're laughing you've got one hour solve it
All the time, or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I'm just that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch, and everything is gonna be just. Morning. Core overheating. No. Design this test myself. Oh. Yes! Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just like, watch you solve it. Yeah, but... And... Nothing. All right, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh! myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around, jammed them all together, but oh yes, well done. Sealed off wind, hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shook them out, good as new. A moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Solution you for. 
for you. We could be in a lot of trouble. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. Are you, are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that wasn't the solution. Ah, what am I missing? I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, all right? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there, just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I then keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, but just keep on testing. Sorry about the lift, it's out of service, because it melted. Test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. No problem, I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. There, bing, good, perfect, off you go. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I had lost you. When poking, you two are gonna love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You're gonna love it until you until it kills you till you dead. <laughs> All right, I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, yes, but thanks, we get it. to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along.
okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes, yes, in your face, I got that! in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes, and then a minute break, where we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs and throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. No! Ah! No! Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Ha! Ah! That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Because you just fell into my trap, my brilliant trap. Just said, I wanted you to. Ah! System compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. Well, well, ah! Okay, great. Here comes another core. Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, I agree. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. Ah! Here's another core. This one should do it. Warning. Core corruption. 
production at 100%. Ah! Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Do not press that button. I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Run! 